McWilliams, we go again. It's great to have you back here in New Hampshire for a fight week as you challenge Julio Cesar Martinez for the green and gold belt. This has been a long time coming for you, to say the least. You must be excited to get, get in the ring on Friday with Martinez. Oh, yeah, most definitely. We've been waiting for this fight, and, you know, I want the fans to, to enjoy the fight. As a mandatory challenger for the belt uh, for some time now, how frustrating has it been for you? No, not frustrating at all. You know, I, I'm used to, uh, this is part of boxing, you know, things happen, so I'm okay with that. Has this given you an extra fire in your belly, or has it been tough to keep focused? And the only tough thing is to, you know, to expect the fight, and, and it, that happens, but it's part of the game, you know. I've been boxing since I was 12, so, it's, you know, it's part of the game. Well, credit to you. You stayed busy. You made the decision to take on an opponent back in February on the Canelo card uh, when Martinez uh, withdrew. You were very intent on making a statement and saying, I'm not going to wait for him. I'm not going anywhere. It was a great win for you and against, and against a last-minute opponent. So how did... What was that like facing somebody uh, with such short notice? You know, um, you know, it wasn't like the best, maybe. Uh, as like, like, you know, having a, a chain of opponent because you know you're prepared for uh, one style and, and then comes a different style. But you know, uh, like I said earlier, it, it, it comes with the game. It wasn't my decision, so things happen, and uh, I guess it is what it is. So the focus has always been Martinez. Uh, so oh, how'd... yeah, most definitely. You know, we were supposed to fight since August 15, 2020. Mm -hmm. And then he got sick, and then he got hurt his hand in February. So, you know, things, uh, I guess, uh, something has been uh, affecting our fight. But now it's going to happen. So, you know, I'm crazy to be in the ring, you know, and may the best man win. And how do you see yourself beating him on Friday night? Let's see Friday. If I can do everything uh, like planned, then I know I can beat him. It's I know it's going to be a hard fight, but he's going to have a tough fight as well. It's another uh, chapter in the Mexico versus Puerto Rico yeah. legacy. Uh, these fans never disappoint when, when they, those fights never disappoint the fans when we see them. Yeah, hopefully, you know, the fans are going to, they're going to watch an uh, action-packed fight. So a win on Friday would catapult you into contention for other major titles and other major fights in the division. Um, this has been something you've been working for so uh, for a while now, isn't it? Yeah, you know, all my life I've been uh, dreaming of this, so, so you know, Come Friday night, I'm going to do everything I can to, to be the only champion. So how much would you relish a chance to take on other champions in the flyweight division with Sonny Edwards? I'll fight, and any, I'll, I'll fight anybody. You know, I'm here to, to fight the best out there. You can check my record. I haven't ducked anybody. I'm here to fight anybody. But, you know, my main focus is Julio Cesar Martinez Friday.